Hey everyone, we're playing Minecraft again, and this is the first video in 1.16, so today's going to be very exciting, we're going to be checking out a lot of new things, and usually I like to make my intros kind of long, but you know what, for once I'm not going to do it at all. Uh, one thing we should talk about is things that are broken in 1.16, one of those is my fishing farm, which is up there, almost completely useless because we can't get books anymore, so we're probably going to have to redesign that or utilize that space for something else. Um, update on my base. I was going to do this in a time lapse, but then this update came a lot earlier than I thought. If you guys remember, my old base was kind of boring, kind of like this. Well, I decided to screw it. Let's just redo it. I want more light, more color, and more organization. So I went ahead and just completely redid it. I've got the floor of terracotta. We've got the lights. We've got the hole in the ceiling before we establish the entrance right there well now we've got a hole in the ceiling that i can fly in and out of makes everything easier added a fourth row of chests on the top so it made things a lot easier you can probably already tell if you guys uh, knew how my old base looked and then over here what's really really nice is i added a quick smelt so if you guys remember one or two episodes ago we built uh the giant industrial auto smelter here with the bamboo farm funneling fuel into here well before i'd have to run down here and kind of chuck it in that chest well i made it just a little bit easier on myself and I just made a quick drop here so I just placed my stuff in here I can actually show you let's say I want to smelt stone I place it in here bam it's gonna get smelted for me I just gotta go pick it up and then I moved the trash from here to here just because it interfered with the redstone along with that I just did a, a lot of general farming so I went ahead and got more sand because the bamboo farm used a lot of that um, I went ahead and got a lot of quartz and glowstone before the nether reset. So you can see here, I got some quartz, I got some glowstone here. Also, in between episodes, I did quite a bit of mining. So you can see I got three stacks of diamond ore and a bunch of other stuff. And you guys might know, obviously, the nether is completely different. So I went ahead and already deleted my old nether. There wasn't really too much there anyway. But I went ahead and I wrote down all the coordinates to all of the biomes we need so we can go ahead and... Uh, translate those into our new world uh, when we want but for now we're gonna go into the nether um, we're gonna check out uh, netherite the new mobs and all that stuff and we're gonna go ahead and play around with all of those today all right everybody first things first we need to get ourselves some netherite armor and we're gonna quickly just do a little bit of mining but luckily for me I already grinded out between episodes and I already got 58 debris um, and here's just some of the loot that I found I found one um, what are they called? Bastions or something. I found one, but I didn't loot it because I wanted to wait. And I've traded with some piglins. Uh, but let's go ahead and do it all together. As far as exploring, I didn't do too much. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's grab some gold so we can trade with the new piglins. Let's go ahead and grab this chest right here. This has got everything we need for mining. You might say, how do you expect to mine with wool and oak? Well, that is because the best way of mining in the nether is through beds. The only thing I'm missing here is a crafting table. Can I get myself some crafting tables? And you might be wondering why am I lagging? I don't have Optifine, man. Even, um, even with my beefy computer, with a world like mine, it can kind of get you down a little bit. But let's go ahead and let's grab that. And let's go out, go out to the nether, like, right away, dude. I'm not, ain't no chill. Let's go straight to the nether. We're just going to get a few pieces of debris just to kind of show you guys how it is. Um, but this is also your guys' first impression as far as from my video goes. So I made a little tunnel just to get a mining spot. But you can see here our start. Oh, I'm not wearing any gold. Uh, oh, I should wear some gold. All right, well, it's going to be a little bit of a waste, but... Let's go ahead and wear some gold so he's not angry at me. But our first starting area is the Crimson Forest. And then I think down there we have um, some more wastelands. But there is one new mob right there. And then obviously the piglin's not new, but it is pretty much new. Um, and yeah, we've got some of the new blocks you can already see here. This is technically wood, right? Yeah, it's Crimson Stem, which can be turned into wood. And you got Crimson Planks, which is super, super cool. But yeah, let's not waste any time. Uh, let's do some piglin trading just for giggles because I know honestly this was a thing that I was kind of really excited for so you can either right click and give it to them or you can just like straight up throw it at them like here and then once they inspect it for a couple seconds they'll go ahead and throw something back at you so 23 string he's a mad lad crying obsidian all right two of the best ones so far honestly did you throw anything at me Oh, oh, there it is. And some soul sand. Okay. These two trades are really good. Dude, I always need string because I don't really have a 
um, a spider farm and then some crank obsidian which we can use to make the new lobe stone which which we can use to for our compass so we can get lost less so i'm pretty excited about that one let's go ahead and trade one more time can you take my gold let's see what we can get there isn't like too many like super crazy rare items i know the good ones as far as i go is i was crank obsidian right now string and glowstone and obsidian kind of uh, but yeah, honestly, glowstone's always somewhat appreciated because, ooh, fire charges and more crank obsidian. Okay, cool. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that mechanic, but let's go ahead and, man, I'm, my inventory's full. Let's go ahead and go down to the mines and let's go get some uh, netherite, our first netherite. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move, oh, that's a hoglin beast. That is another new mob. Now, this one will attack me with no remorse. So I'm going to go ahead and go somewhere else so I don't have to deal with that. Go right there. And then, yeah, I guess I'll give you guys some tips because I've already, you know, I've, d I've done a bit of mining. So what you want to do to get netherite is go to level 12 because that is right between the bottom and the lava pools. And it gives you the biggest chance to actually find netherite. And then you want to place that down. I need, let's just get some wool and some logs can convert that put the rest back into there let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple beds and i'm not going to have enough here but that's okay just basically what we're going to be doing is branch mining just like in the overworld but we're going to be branch mining using beds because in the nether as you know they explode and they just make that perfect radius from the lava pools to the bottom to kind of just show all nether right all right so we hit gravel so let's go ahead and let's put some beds in our inventory here. All right, let's get rid of our rockets. So basically what you do, you just mine like this. You just poke holes just like with normal branch mining. Um, and then you hit it. And then I should be using a fire resistance potion, but I'm lazy and it's all the way back there. So after you explode it, you just look around. Is there any... Uh, Oh, it's literally right in front of me. There we go. And that's actually lucky. That is two whole pieces of it. And you can mine this with any diamond tool, and it does not break in the lava. So if you drop it in the lava, don't freak out. Ancient debris and the right armor can't burn up in it. So yeah, there's our first two pieces of ancient debris. Now, I do have some more beds on me, so I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, give us a couple more whirls. Anything, no. But I don't want to waste your guys' time with my mining, because I already did a lot of it, a couple hours worth. And then, ooh, let's put my helmet back on. I don't need, I don't need my old poopy gold helmet that, so I don't get attacked by piglins. Ooh, and there's some lava. I need, you do need to watch out for that. Like I said, I brought some fire resistance potions in my chest, but I was just too lazy to put them on. Uh, but yeah, this stuff, if you can already tell, is kind of rare. Oh, there's a piece right there. They, like, 50% of the time come in one pieces, and then the other, like, 50% you find in like two pieces three pieces and very 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 rarely I've only found it once or twice in four pieces and then if you guys know I actually haven't done this yet but um, if you guys know how to make nether right armor you have to have four of the ancient debris which you cook up into scrap with four gold and then you do that and you have another right uh, ingot and then you combine the ingot with a diamond tool and you get yourself your netherite so let's go ahead and just get out of here it's all right let's go ahead and maybe split this up so we can kind of get this done quick and here just like that so if you guys remember honestly it's still one of my favorite things it's like stupidly simple and really not that great at redstone but um yeah this is actually our armor storage area so if we flip down the gold covers and then we can bring our armor up and you can see these are all fully enchanted uh, armor pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and probably enchant two of these. So let's just go ahead and while I'm lagging, just grab two. Just so we can have some backup netherite this armor. Time. Let's go grab the tools that we wanna convert, some really, really good tools. So I guess let's convert two fortune picks. Um, yes, let's do one of those, one of those. Um, let's see. I want one silk touch to be that one. We want. We definitely want our sword debris. How much of it? Okay, so cool. Let's go grab all of our scrap here. Yeah, that is a lot of scrap. 
All right, we're done here. So we got some gold on us. Hopefully we have enough gold. If not, we, I'm just going to grab all of that. All right, let's go ahead and actually make more gold bars just in case. I don't think we'll need it, but let's just make them while we're at it. Okay, so we you do four of those. Okay, well, we'll be make 15 in total. How many? I don't think we'll be able to enchant or to upgrade all of this stuff, but there we go, netherite ingots. Cool, and we did have enough gold. Now, what we need... Oh, I don't have a netherite chest, do I? Okay, well, I guess I'll just... Uh, well, you guys already saw it, so I can replace that. There we go. Now we need a blacksmith bench. Do I have one of those? Pretty sure I do. I I know I do. I grabbed it. Yeah, smithing table. I think that's what I'm looking for here. Put the smithing table down. Yes, and we can here we can upgrade our gear with the netherite. So I guess we should probably start with the armor that we're wearing, right? Let's go ahead and do these three, and then. I guess we can just do that, just because technically that's a full set. And obviously, I'm just going to be wearing my Elytra, so it doesn't matter. But, stick that in there. There we go. That is our first netherite helmet. First netherite chest plate. Leggings. Diamond boots. Okay, I'm going to take my Elytra off. This is the first time ever wearing this stuff. Dude, that is wild. Dude, I never thought I'd see the day to be something better than diamond. That is full netherite gear. Yo, that's crazy. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop staring at that. Let's go ahead and put our Elytra back on. And then let's upgrade some of our tools. Why don't we? So first, our sword. There we go. Um, Let's see. What, which is the best? Let's do this one. Netherite axe. Let's do a pick. And then let's do our shovel. There we go. Let's move some of this stuff out. All right, we got seven. Okay, we got to pick wisely here. Let's do... Okay, let's do one fortune pick. Let's do one mining pick. Uh, uh, let's do... Oh, man. Let's do one more of these, and then we'll do one full set of armor. One more extra full set of armor. Man, and I know this stuff doesn't look rare. We got to remember, I mined for quite a few hours, and this is basically all I've gotten. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in our... In here and then we'll check out the tools obviously all right so let's go ahead and put that in there all right that is our first netherite stuff and then this is gonna look a little bit weird because I got one piece of netherite but there we go and then obviously like I said we'll start working on all of these and eventually all of them will be netherite but let's check out our netherite tools so this is the stuff that I'm usually gonna keep on me these are just extras we can go ahead and stick in those chests and then we could take a look at kind of, you know what, I'll just drop them here. Alright, so this is the netherite sword. We got the netherite pickaxe. It lo weirdly looks like stone, but I know it's not. We got the axe, and then we've got the shovel. So that's cool. Man, this is wild. I honestly, I, I withheld making this stuff for a few days just so I could be there to record it. I'm really glad I did. Stuff's wild. Alright, everybody, I think I got everything that I need. I've got my full set. I've kind of got uh, some fire resistance, strength, some healing. And then I also have a box here filled with rockets and more storage and more food. I don't think I'll need any more than this. I don't see what else I'd be missing. Um, I guess I could grab some more fire resistance if I have any. Also, while I'm lagging, pretty sure I have more downstairs, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Not waste any time. Let's go ahead into our nether. This is some of the stuff that I found before. I'm pretty sure I already showed you guys. But, um, yeah. All right, let's go into the nether. And I think I know where one bastion is. So it's probably going to be the first thing we're going to check out if I can get to it. But I'm basically just going to fly around and see. Before we do that, though, let me go ahead and write down my coordinates. Because I would have no other way of knowing how to get back here. So I place those in chat. Those are going to be there until I quit the game. Which, hopefully, I'm not going to quit the game for some stupid reason. Oh, I forgot one thing. I need a gold piece of armor for the piglins. Hold on. All right, so you guys already seen the crimson forest, so I'm going to go ahead and start flying, and let's see what we find. All right, so this is our first technically new find. You can already see a lot of new things. Oop, oh, oh, let's, uh, let's get my... Ow, 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 dude. Ah, oh, there's my helmet. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Bro, I've got a helmet on. What are you doing? Alright, dude, I'll fight you. Stupid. Alright, I've got... Did I bring two? 
Oh, what? Okay, that's a bug. Y'all saw it on camera. That was a bug. I thought I just straight up duplicated my helmet. All right. Well, you can see this part right here is wasteland, and you still got your zombie pigmen. You can, see, you can see them riding. I forgot what these things are called. Stalkers, walkers, I don't even know. Dude, I'm thinking of Star Wars at this point. Uh, but you can see you got blue flames, which is the soul fire. So that's new on soul sand here. Or No, this is not soul sand. That's soul sand. What are you? Tell me what you are. You are soul soil. Okay, interesting. You can see, I think that's some basalt there. This is not a bastion, is it? I don't have a bastion that close. I literally flew from over there. Bro, is this a bastion or is this... Dude, that's straight up... Oh, that's a bastion. Is this... Okay, I've never... I shouldn't stop assuming. I'm like, I've never been at a bastion. How am I supposed to... I was like, this doesn't look like one. Well, I've never been to one, so I don't... Bro, are you kidding me? That's bad. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Am I going to survive this? I really doubt it at this point. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. I literally just died. I'm not even inside. Okay, let's just... Oh, what up, dude? It's your boy. Alright. Well, they... Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and steal this already. Gimme, gimme, dude. Gimme, gimme. <gasps> no. I'm sad. Okay, let's check out over here. There's the, hello, there's a treasure down there. I wonder, did they release the mob yet? So there's supposed to be like a piglin brute inside of these. It's supposed to come in 16.2 and we are not in 16.2 yet. So I'm going to assume, no, no, that's not a piglin brute. Oh, dog, you trying to squirt. All right, you know what? We should probably, oh, y'all hurt, y'all hurt. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, oh, no, dude. I'm gonna die. Bro, this place is hard. All right, everybody, let's give this another try. Luckily, netherite and netherite tools don't burn up in lava. That's what's amazing. So I went ahead and got them back, ran away, um, and prepared a whole new set of stuff. And this time I brought a bow with me because uh, bows are sick. And um, probably should have brought one last time. Let's go back to that bastion and uh, let's not lose. All right, dude, I'm about to straight up run for it dude all right you know what this is probably how i'm gonna die again oh they're in there okay well there's one dude do they die like one shot to the feet there's magma cube spawners nah bro Good. Can I steal? Oh, what up? Back up. I said back up. Oh. Yeah, that's right. You can't get to me because you can't jump. Bro, leave me alone. All right, dude. All right, I'm going to start swiping. I think I've missed the gold block back there. Give me your gold. What's in here? Terrible. Ooh, okay. You know what? What up? I got a problem? All right, later, skater. Dude, maybe this wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Maybe it's not that hard. Maybe I just took a bad route the first time. Maybe I just wasn't careful enough. All right, that's one. I'm trying to see. Oh, he's still trying to scrap. Oh, I'm using my, <laughs> I'm using my specter arrows. Uh, I don't want to do that. All right, whatever. I guess I could use them. Technically, they're not. All right, everybody. So that was our first bastion. Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and keep exploring. Okay, I think I think this is the same bi. Is this a different biome? I think it's I think it's a different biome. This is like the basalt granite. I don't even know what it's called biome. 
another one of my really yeah yeah because the other one was i don't know dude i'm lost but all i know is right here this is super sick oh what up gas yeah this is this is actually a really cool generation that's completely just like natural generation not even me all right bro we got you know i'm going to now. Let's go. there we go no i want that i want that i want that yeah give me that all right and here is the other biome that is uh like co with the crimson we have got the twisted no the warped not the twisted the warped and just like the crimson it has its own little mushroom and its own wood so we can come over here we got we got the warped stem and that gives us kind of like a blue type wood now you can find both of the mushrooms technically in both biomes you can kind of see it right there uh, but obviously one is more abundant in one than in the other and we also got these stems here and this is the block that i was looking at what is this now i've got a silk touch so i don't know if that needs to be silk touch specifically but shroom light that's interesting oh what is this twisted vibe I need okay. I need to start. I don't even know what I'm doing. I need to start collecting this stuff. I can I can farm this off camera, dude? Let's go find some more bastions. That's what we're looking for, right? So this is basically just a broken Nether portal. Comes like this. Has some crying obsidian, and it just has like really like super random generation. Can we grab this? I wonder if you. I don't know if you need silk touch for this. Obviously, I'm just defaulting to a silk touch. Um, but I don't know if you actually need silk touch to pick it up. But there you go. Let's. Oh, there's. I want. I want that. I'll let it go, dude. I. I don't have a. I don't have a fire resistance out. Okay. What's in this chest? Fire charge. I don't need those boots. I'm gonna just be real with you. Weighted pressure. I'll take that golden horse armor. All right. You know what? Okay. Not. Not obviously. It's like stuff out over here, so it's not gonna be too good. You know, it's not like inside of a bastion or anything. But let me cop this crying obsidian while i'm here the little purple drip oh there we go another bastion and hello are we good okay so i wonder does every bastion does it have completely separate generation for some reason there's gold blocks out here this time i mean gimme gimme like it's easy access but i wonder why that is let's go ahead and Lay right up on the gold. Let me go ahead and get a fire resistance brewing. Cause I know I'll need it. Let's start shooting, bro. Alright, so it's gotta be in one of the well, there's a chest up here that I know I'm gonna cop real quick. Ooh. Oh, y'all need a backup right about now. Alright, y'all can go down there. Miss me with all those shenanigans, dude. Alright, you wanna fight? I think it's that a little baby, or is that just a head peek? Alright, you know what? You're gonna die either way. Come here. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's in these double chests, dude. Double? Oh, yeah, the chain is a new item, ain't it? A lot of this stuff, gold block, crying, more crying, more string. What is this? Soul speed. That is a new enchantment right there, which is sick. More cr oh, We got it, dude. We got the new uh, music disc. I don't know how rare this is, but I'm excited because obviously I, I, just, I don't have it. That's sick. Okay. Let's really make sure we don't die because I'm going to keep that. The entire nether just looks beautiful. I love the new biomes. I love like the vegetation. Uh, the bastions are cool. Obviously, you can't forget the whole new tier of armor and tools. So like, man, you gotta give it to them. They they did it. You know, like they actually did it. If I had one complaint, which again I don't like complaining about updates, because an update is content, and content is great. But I kind of do wish they would have brought better mobs not gonna lie like um i don't know the nether is like a super scary hell type place right and like piglins are kind of scary right but like they're not that scary 
Oop, there's another uh, broken portal. And like, not gonna lie, where, where, let me, let me, dude, look at this thing. That thing looks like a, looks like Mike Wazowski if he was red and had two eyes. What is that, dude? Like, come on, man. You call that a mob? <gasps> another bastion! Oh, I was about to stop, like, talking and, like, edit, but another bastion. Alright, dude, let's, let's scope out the place first, right? Can we, oh, there's chests. Okay, well, I'm going for those chests first. I'm breaking up in here. Oh, oh, that is a lot of y'all. That is a lot of y'all. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Oh, that is a yacht. Okay, 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 okay. I respect, I respect. All right, chill. We can be friends, not really. All right. <laughs> now y'all stuck down there. Okay, I was like, can I open? I'm gonna walk. Maybe not. Okay. Let's see. Gild gilded blackstone. Let's take some more obsidian. Let's take all the oh, chains. I don't need this. I don't need these blocks because I've got a bone farm, but. Definitely take that. Is he not noticing me plundering, like, plundering his loot? No? Okay. Ooh, there's a nice hole for me. Oh, oh what's up? Alright, alright. That is a lot of you. Okay, I can funnel them in this spot right here. Okay, that was actually that actually worked amazingly. Ooh, lots of crying obsidian. Lots of guilt. Lots of, lots of that. Lots of that. All right, I think that's it for this dungeon. Like I said, uh, feel free to call me a dummy. But I don't really see anything else. Another bastion. Okay. Huh. Okay. Man, I haven't seen another bastion with another treasure room, which is weird. Unless I've missed the treasure room for every single bastion so far except the first one. Oh, he jumped in here with me. Out of you again. East above me. Oh, yes, yes, give me. Oh, what can I get rid of that? Let's get rid of that. Okay. Dude, if there's a treasure room, it's in here somewhere. Oh, okay, I just fell. I don't know where I just fell, though. Oh, okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm definitely yoinking. Soul speed, okay. Definitely in the mood for that. Alright guys, we're back at the base. I decided to kind of stop exploring after that bastion. Um, but yeah, here's kind of some of our loot that we've gotten. We did get a lobestone, which I'm super happy about. Uh, plenty of gold blocks. Like, dude, straight up almost a stack. This is just stuff from last time, but yeah. Not too bad. I'm just really happy about this lobestone, honestly. Probably not going to even use it that much. Um, but yeah, we got some crying obsidian. We got just kind of some random blocks. Yeah, I guess today's episode, I'm not going to really do any big projects, mostly just like initial exploring of the new update. So I am going to need to make room for a lot of these new blocks. I'm guessing a lot of the blackstone stuff I'll put right here, right next to the concrete. And yeah, I'll have, I'll have to make a new few more spots. Obviously, I need another right spot. Um, I might need to make one for charges because just I don't have one and stuff like that. All right, everybody. So let's play a game. I've got three stacks of diamonds in the comments. I want you to say... How many diamonds you think I'll get from three stacks? So not 
not the block of diamond but actual individual diamonds from three stacks how many will i get and then i guess we'll figure out at the end of the, at the end of this There is a total of 421 diamonds. So here's what I'm going to do. This might be a little cheating, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw just one diamond, just, just one diamond into the trash. We have 420 diamonds. So if 420 was your guess, then you are correct. I'm going to end this episode off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I definitely had fun. My first little dives into Bastions and another. Definitely going to be doing some like offline farming. You know, getting some of the wood. Getting a lot of like the black rock and stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and comment. as from the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.